Hello everybody, John here, and today onto the garage we are doing a very exciting bit. And that is we're finally going to replace Olive's temporary mock-up worktop, which has been used for basically lining things up, measuring things, etc. With her actual worktop, and that's going to be a piece of beach, 27 mil thick, routed into a ball nose at the front like the table and that's going to go from here to here and then there's going to be a narrower section at the back that lifts on these rather nice hinges which are basically going to pull the thickness of the wood away from the back edge and hold it in place in a vertical position to make a really good access for this compartment here. So this will be a quite a transformative moment. It would also mean I can start working on installing the cooker and sink rather than just placing it there and the whole thing will start to come together. Obviously, we'd have the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be like that, you see. That's got to be well, cross very there. easy to do, isn't it? Of course, it is. Didn't take me long, did it? No, it didn't. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Really good idea. We had to just think of which was the best square mm. to do it in. We've got to knock off that window, that window, that window, and the front window, you know. Okay, so we're using the both both of the dummy worktops. That's the bit that the sink goes in. That's the bit that's going to lift as templates because the back edge bit that touches the van looks pretty straight, but it's not. It's nowhere near. Um, so if we want to cut this as one big piece and then slice it through, which we do, we we need to get that shape right. And the reason for wanting to sl slice it through after we've got the shape is if I put a route around here and along here, I want to be able to slice through. If I slice it after, the way the router works, it's going to leave a, a not nice join in this corner. So that's the plan anyway. So what we're going to do now is try and lift the big heavy worktop onto this, which I'll put the brakes on in case we drift off and we'll have a go. That's one break. That's the other. Okay. Now we did decide on a top and a bottom for it, and I can't remember which it was. I think this might be the top. Yeah, there was a few filled bits on it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it was obviously <laughs> three foot longer before we took the table off it. Yeah, so if I use that as a starting position, what I'm going to do now is add and reduce. So if I draw lightly around the whole thing,
Good thing about routing it after, it don't matter if you chip the edges a little bit. Yeah, I think that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. So we pick this up. You can go there for a mo. If I pull the drawer out, it can sit on that. So what we've got to do. Little single seater aircraft. Thank you. I think we did good there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one closest, that's it. We'll try it for size once. I'll go work out where this cut's going to go. See, this can go all the way now. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that looks amazing. It does, and that's how I'm taking it. That's cool. That'll be all right. <sighs> Time it's lined up a bit. I think I need to put like a set square, yeah. draw a line out using that. Oh, where's the planks finish? Oh, that was close. There's one finishes just there. Let's go straight between them. So what you cut is all right on the... I'm going to put a slice through the join yeah. between two, just yeah. so that, it, you know, obviously it'll cut both sides. Yeah. Even when we take the big hole out, that's still going to be an heavy piece of wood to have yeah. in a camper van. Is it? They will never eat. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That's left a nice neat edge on that one. I'll go here, I think. There's quite a flange, well, it's five mil on the cooker, so ain't gonna be perfect. Going on, it's a bit difficult just there. Yeah, Might be a knot in it. Cool. Cool, we're getting a bit too much sun, I think, today. Yeah. Let me get my weights on it. Okay. Is your knees okay on there? Yeah, right on smooth. Okay. Which way are you going out your way or my way? It's way here, find it. Cuts a bit tapered. Yay! 
100 pounds worth of beets reduced to that. <laughs> Great. Well done. Give it another Thank one. you. Yeah, very well that done. That is going to go great. Yeah. That, that's turned out okay, that. Yes, that looks all right, honey. That's okay. Very good. Oh. So there we are. Solid beach worktop with cooker just sat in it at the moment it's a nice transition here and this will obviously be flattened out we've got to sort the hinges out on this yet that will lift up but I've got to say I am very pleased with the look of that um, it's still raw as in it needs some Danish oil or something like that on it and hopefully that'll bring it down more or less to match the faux beach of the tambour door but shows what you can do if you put your mind to it and that will last a lifetime of this van very easily if you like the uh, video guys give us a thumbs up give us a comment and if you want to tell the garage sticker, get on over to our shop at www.tothegarage.co.uk. Please share and subscribe, and we'll see you again on To The Garage real soon with a stained or oiled worktop, and we'll be plumbing in the cooker and the sink, and the kitchen area will be more or less done. Time to roll her outside, start looking upstairs, and dealing with the mechanicals. Yeehaw!